But what if Israel had a cost-effective way to stop the rockets, a way to hit one rocket after another endlessly without having to worry about its expensive interceptors running out? On October 14th, Israel was gearing up to deploy its revolutionary laser defense system against missile threats from Hamas. Just a day later, footage surfaced online showcasing the iron beam in action, intercepting a missile from Gaza. But here's the real question. What exactly is this advanced Israeli laser weapon and how powerful is it? Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries behind this cutting edge tech. On April 13th, 2024, the skies over Israel turned into a battlefield. Iran unleashed a torrent of over 300 drones and missiles, while Hezbollah added to the chaos, launching dozens of grad rockets at Israeli defense forces stationed in the Golan Heights. It was an all-out assault designed to overwhelm Israel's defenses, but Israel's advanced air defense systems had other plans. At the highest altitudes, Israel's Arrow 3 interceptors were the first to respond. These sophisticated missiles hit ballistic threats while they were still in space, far above the battlefield. As the attack moved lower, David's sling, an interceptor resembling the US Patriot system, neutralized more incoming missiles. Even US forces stepped in, with warships and aircraft joining the defense. But the star of Israel's defense remained its famous Iron Dome. This network of short-range interceptors, guided by radar, swatted drones, rockets, and even missiles from the sky. It was a masterclass in multi-layered defense. Almost every drone and missile met its end before it could touch Israeli soil. Yet, despite the overwhelming success of these systems, they didn't catch everything. Nine Iranian missiles broke through, striking Nevatim and Ramon air bases. The damage was minimal, with only one person injured by shrapnel, but it served as a grim reminder, even the most advanced systems can't stop everything. The attack wasn't just a barrage, it was a strategic attempt to overload Israel's defenses, hoping to drain the stockpile of interceptor missiles. While Israel's defenses held strong this time, Israeli planners know that the threat is always in the numbers. But now, Israel is betting on the future, a future that rests on the shoulders of its new high-power laser system, the Iron Beam. With a $1.2 billion US aid package backing it, Israel is pushing forward with this cutting-edge technology. It's still unproven in battle, but if successful, Iron Beam could revolutionize air defense, providing a nearly impenetrable shield over the country. So, What's the big deal with Iron Beam? Why is it so promising? First, its speed is unmatched. Unlike missiles, which take precious seconds to reach their target, a laser beam travels almost instantaneously. No need for complex targeting systems. Once the laser locks on, the target has no escape. This works even against highly maneuverable drones or missiles. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Second, it's ridiculously cheap. A single shot from the Iron Beam costs very little as compared to the Iron Dome's missiles. Compare that to Israel's current defense systems, where intercepting a primitive Qassam rocket, costing militants a few hundred dollars, can cost Israel $80,000 or more per shot with the Iron Dome. Launching 100 rockets might cost militants $20,000, but defending against them could cost Israel $10 million. Iron Beam promises to flip that equation, making missile defense much more affordable. Now let's talk about the Iron Dome's biggest limitation. Each launcher carries 20 Tamir missiles, and once they're fired, it takes several hours to reload. That leaves the area it's supposed to protect virtually defenseless during the reload time. But here's where the Iron Beam steps in. Unlike the Iron Dome, the Iron Beam doesn't run out of shots. It can keep firing as long as there's power. With a strong generator 
and enough diesel to keep it fueled, the iron beam can keep working continuously. And when it comes to short-range threats, it's a game-changer. The Iron Dome struggles to intercept targets flying less than four kilometers away. But for the Iron Beam, hitting these low, close-range targets is a lot easier. Of course, even the Iron Beam isn't perfect. Its biggest challenge? The weather. Lasers only perform at their best in clear conditions. Fog or dust can significantly reduce its effectiveness. Another downside is its range. Right now, the Iron Beam can hit targets up to 10 kilometers away, and that's only in perfect weather. The development of the Iron Beam system goes back to 2014, when Israel first revealed a prototype at a defense exhibition. It was a 50 kilodollar laser mounted on a vehicle with the ability to strike targets from five to seven kilometers away. Since then, developers have been pushing to improve its power and efficiency. However, despite being adopted for service, we didn't hear much about its actual use in the field for several years. But things sped up in December 2018, as tensions with Hezbollah escalated and Israel launched Operation Northern Shield along the Lebanon border. The need for better defense against high-precision missiles became urgent, and Israel's Armament and Technology Development Directorate ramped up efforts to perfect the Iron Beam. Fast forward to April 2022, when Raphael, the company behind Israel's Iron Dome, successfully tested the Iron Beam. While the specifics were kept secret, experts estimated the laser's power to be around 100 kilodollars with a 10 kilometer range. But the big reveal came in May 2023 at the MDX Asia exhibition in Singapore. Raphael introduced not one, but two versions of the Iron Beam, a land-based and a ship-based model. The land-based version, mounted on wheeled vehicles, boasts a power of up to 500 kilowatt hour, while the ship-based version has a slightly lower output, around 100 kilowatt hour. Now, if that 500 kilowatt hour number is accurate, Israel just positioned itself as the world leader in laser weaponry. To put that into perspective, the US is still talking about developing lasers with 300 kg of power, and as for Russia and China, little is known about their progress. Neither has come close to declaring anything near 500 kW. Now, here's where things get even murkier. The laser beam itself isn't visible to the naked eye because it operates in the ultraviolet spectrum, so it doesn't create the dramatic, colorful effect most people imagine. Despite all this, Israel's military and scientific community are pushing full steam ahead to get the Iron Beam operational. The threat of airborne attacks is growing, and local reports suggest it's only a matter of time before this system is officially tested in real-world combat scenarios. While there hasn't been an official confirmation, there also hasn't been a complete denial could Israel already be testing the Iron Beam under the radar? Some believe the computer game story might just be a convenient cover. One thing is clear, laser weapons are no longer a far-off dream. The Iron Beam represents a future where missiles are silently neutralized without fanfare. And just think about the psychological impact on Israel's enemies, missiles exploding one after another in complete silence. That kind of stealth could change the game entirely. What's your take on Israel's laser defense technology? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights on modern weaponry.